Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are from in the whole wide world. This is Man Pixie with another video. This time I've bought the DJI Neo drone. I've got the Fly More combo package. I've uh, got it here, look. I'll just uh, get my phone. There we go. It doesn't come with a bag. This is from my old uh, DJI Mini 2. I've got all the gubbins in there. See the batteries. Uh, every, if you're all new to drones, this is your power bank that you get with it. Uh, charge your batteries up with, press that button there, and all the lights come up. So, yeah, and also you get the controller with it as well. I've got two of these now because I've got one with the old uh, Mini 2 as well. And then look, the drone itself. The one thing I don't like about the drone is that gimbal because I can't get the gimbal, <laughs> the gimbal guard. I can't get that back, that back on. Apart from that, yeah, it looks right. Uh, three on, uh, the seat's coming off already. Let's flick that in there. There we go. So yeah, it's uh, 299 pounds for the Fly More, pa Fly More pack and also for just the drone on its own. I think that was 179 pounds on off Amazon next day delivery yeah so, so it's not a bad drone um i'll just have a little play with it on uh, in the garden and now it's the least windiest day ever <laughs> that, we've, that we've had hardly any wind so i'm going to get a quick fly around and see what's what i'll put time stamps in the uh, description below spin you back around again yeah, I'll put timestamps in the description box below of what I'm doing. There's some woods behind me that you can see there. I'm going to walk here, get it to follow me. Um, I'm just going to use the drone for now with a phone. Because somebody asked me what's the range distance with a phone. So I'm going to test that out as well. See if I can fly it over there because it runs off the Wi-Fi, you see. So I'm going to fly it over there. And then we'll see how far it gets before it cuts out. And also, I'm going to see because of the uh, return to home feature when you're using the um, controller. So I'm going to test that out, see how accurate that is, or if it just lands where it is. So I'm not going to take it too far. All right, then, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now. And we're following. We'll see how see how well it handles these. Uh, These trees and whatnot, it says I've only got five, oh no, 73% battery left, so I've been going five minutes. That is the Earl Marshall pub in Sheffield. It would be handy if you like walking on the, the cliffs, on the edge of the cliff, and you want to follow you on there, getting the uh, ocean in view and all that lot. It's only a half inch sensor, so you're not going to get good colour as you can see with the clouds with me white because I can see it on my phone obviously because then you can see whether it's uh, lost you or not and uh, I think with this uh, while you're using your phone if it, if it um, loses signal or your battery runs out it will just land automatically but I've got quite dark clothes on and we're going into to some woods which is quite dark apparently it doesn't work well in low light i've seen some videos where it just lands <laughs> it says goes into atty mode and then just lands completely so it's still behind me which is good we've uh, just watched it from there we've got six nine percent left you say four minutes so I might have to change batteries in a minute, because this is another reason why you really should get the flywall combo, you know, to get the uh, full use out of the drone. And we're going to make it through <laughs> the woods. Oh, it's a bit sludgy. We have had a bit of rain. Oh, happy days. Lovely. Now, don't crash. Apparently, it follows your footsteps. It follows where you go. That is disgusting. That stinks. Look, this is the interesting part. Whoa! 
it's still got me good. See what happens. Don't go around and crash down here because of water. <laughs> still going, still going now. We've got a little turn here. Try and go as wide as possible. No satellite positioning, fly with caution, it's just said. This is the bit I want to know. I got around that all right. Like I say, it follows you. It traces your footsteps. Bloody brilliant. But for, for the money that you pay, if you just want to use it for tracking you, which is good. All right, we've got a couple of bits here. And it is through. Awesome. That is brilliant. Apparently it's very robust as well. Not crashed it yet. It's a shoe bud. I don't want to crash it. So I've got left 52, 51% left. It's doing a grand job. We are walking slowly, so I'm not a speed, speed demon when it comes to walking. Where do I go? Do I go up or do I go down? When I get to there. I think I'll go back down the steps when we get to the top. Usually in the summer this is really quite overgrown. We don't really look after it as much as they do. Right, well coming up to a bit of dodgy bit now. Where it may crash. <laughs> no, so if I go uh, three steps, see three there. If I come around, see what it does. Oh, easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Very impressive. This is the only drone I managed to use that's tracked me. Without crashing, I've had a Mini 3, that got stuck. Mini 2 using the, uh, oh, what's that other app called? Anyway, that crashed. <laughs> this one hasn't so far. We're nearly back where we started, nearly. Walking down the steps. So I'm like, oh, I'm getting on a bit now. There we go, let's have a look. That's somebody walking the dog. It is. Somebody's walking the dog over there. Now I'm going to have to go somewhere else. There we are, back where we started, guys. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to have to stop it and then we'll start at a different location. Alright then, guys. See you in a minute.